When you consider your final assignment, uh, going back to the learning outcomes, I think is going to be extremely important because if you recall, one of the goals of this course is to become the type of a leader who can actually deal with the inevitable resistance to change uh, when launching your initiatives. In this particular module, which represents all the work in, in this particular course, you're you know evaluating your impact of being a self-differentiated leader and leading the conversations that are necessary, and then compiling your your one page or web based resource that helps you move these ideas together. So when we take a look at the actual assignment, um, part A is really that crucial conversations piece, um, or if you are looking at the failure of nerve, but it's really about that notion of um, are you having those conversations? Are you, do you have the strength of, of uh, confidence to be able to move down that path? Um, are you using the crucial conversations tools to move your ideas forward? So you want to build a strategy uh, for your uh, component of your organizational change plan. And then in the part B of the assignment, you want to pull all those pieces together and provide provide a, a really good organizational structure and a navigational structure that shows how all the pieces fit together. So I think it's really important that you address the individual components throughout the course, but then in this final week, the final compilation assignment, you want to show this as a comprehensive plan. And I think um, I'm, I'm going to give you some examples of students who've done this in a variety of different ways. Um, some are more visually oriented, some are more textually oriented, and I'll point out, well, obviously, you'll be able to tell. So Stephanie Carter here, uh, this, this particular student, you'll see her example. Um, I think she's done a wonderful job using a visual representation, perhaps of herself, um, and she has a, a, a short, you know, couple of sentences, paragraph, talks about the different components, links to the particular sections, and then when we go into the individual sections, again, there's a bit of a context, written context, um, and she really identifies how she's going to uh, put forward her ideas and the principles, and she actually created a, a book, um, an ebook that will enable her to um, share what she's planning to do with her colleagues. Right. So, um, again, very visually oriented. She's done a wonderful job. All the pieces are in place. She's got references all the way through. Um, uh, wonderful example of how you can visually organize your ideas as well as using you know, brief text to pull all the pieces together and show how this is an overall innovation plan. Uh, sorry, uh, not an innovation plan, organizational change strategy that supports your innovation plan. So that, that wonderful example of visual orientation. A um, little bit of a difference in, in this next example, uh, uh, Deanna Teal, a little bit more uh, textually oriented. Um, so there's a, 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 although there's a graphical component as well, but when we take a look at the crucial conversations piece, um, again, it's a bit more of a textual perspective explaining how the pieces are going to fit together. And then she uses a graphical header to make a connection between the different, you know, eight different components of, of the uh, crucial conversation strategy. Uh, I think one of the most important things that you'll see here, she always personalizes it. What is she going to be doing within her organization? Right. So all these pieces here really um, she's got a for me component in each one of these sections. So this really um, takes the ideas and it uh, applies them to what she's planning to do. So this isn't just a simple recitation of the ideas or, or a repackaging of the ideas. It's really how she plans to implement those ideas within her organization. Now, one of the challenges with, with Deanna, she's spawning new windows on her website. You don't want to do that. You, you want, because uh, it kills a back button. So when you do that, when you've got too many windows that are being spawned. Um, you, you, so you don't want to do that. So be careful about that. Um, another perspective that is, again, very textually oriented um, is uh, Kaylee Heenan's work here. Um, this is a, more of an essay blog post-ish perspective. So it's more a lot uh, a written perspective. And she's really, really dealing with, with what she's planning to do. Um, she's really clearly articulating how the different pieces fit, what what, what was she able to do, uh, you know, the different parts of the stages. Um, you know, she really provides an overview of the different components. And then she's got a link to um, her, her particular perspective of that particular component. Um, she happened to read both the failure of nerve and crucial conversations and then she pulls both pieces together through a, a written perspective um, and, and again it's you got to understand 
she's writing this in the context of what she is planning to do, right? Finally, I must learn to respond to inevitable changes. So this is really a reflection of what she needs to do as she moves her ideas forward. So I think that's going to be uh, extremely important. Um, like all the other wonderful examples, references are in place, well formatted uh, links if they're online. So I think she's done a great job there. Another example is is uh, also textually uh, oriented. Um, nice negative space here. A uh, little bit of a visual component. Um, again, she's even questioning her ability to lead change, right? Can I really do this? Um, and, and this is a wonderful example of, and, and all, all these examples do this. They, there's a bit of a self-reflection, self-analysis in terms of moving these ideas forward. Uh, earlier on, uh, Kristen mentioned that she was hesitant, potentially even scared. But then as you read through this, she's recognizing just how uh, equipped she is to be able to move these ideas. And, and by the end, she's ready to go. She's ready to go. So this process has helped her to be ready to go. So, you know, the crucial conversations piece really identifies those key components um, that were important. Again, she's doing this from a blogging or written perspective as opposed to, you know, the visual perspective. And that's fine. So this is, again, a personal reflection talking about what she is planning to do, right? And she's recognizing some of the challenges. A tricky part is going to be having those worthwhile, you know. So she's identifying the challenges of moving these ideas forward. Um, the final example I want to point you to, and I want to caution you on this one, I've included it because um, this student has just really is quite visually oriented. And she's also done something which is very unique, and I want to caution people to be careful about doing this. I don't recommend it. She managed to get away with it because she did this one thing. She created a, 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 a visual representation here that would link to the rest of her components within the page. So she's taken all the components and added them up, so it's one big long page. I really caution you all on doing that. I, I don't recommend doing that. Um, if you are going to do it, you need to actually create some form of internal navigation within the page so that uh, when you click on the different components, and, and you'll notice that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So depending on the browser you have, um, it can work or cannot work. So you got to be really careful. So again, she, visually, she's identified the different components. You click on the different component and, and it scrolls down to the bottom. But again, this is something I don't recommend. Um, she, she did well in the assignment because she's actually articulated all her ideas. There's, you know, in terms of navigation, the structure, I question it. I don't recommend it. She's made it work, but there's better ways of doing that. I also want to point out a lot of visual components, auditory components. She's got some recordings. Um, and again, like some other students, she's identified a visual component that's consistent throughout her entire presentation of her ideas. And so, and that, you know, uh, she's dealing with um, with primary education. And so, uh, you know, her audience, I think, is, is going to be uh, more inclined to be looking at that. Links to the full strategy components. Um, you know, the, a lot of thought has gone into this. There's a lot of ideas, a lot of content. The reflection is just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, it's really about looking at what she's planning to do, how she's going to go forward. The first thing she needs to do, know is why. You know, so all these pieces come together in, in, a, in a wonderful, uh, form uh, format here. Now, again, I got to caution you. Um, I would discourage you from putting all your pieces on one page like this, um, and I'd be more inclined to encourage you folks to, you know, have this single short page that points to all the resources as opposed to this big long page, which is potentially overwhelming. That's one of the biggest challenges. There's a lot here. You know, there still is a lot here, but when it's presented this way, well, you know, this is you know, the, the Y piece, okay, the the influencer piece, okay, the 40X piece, okay, the crucial conversation piece. Well, when you look at it from the piece perspective, it's a little bit easier to handle. So hopefully I've, I've provided uh, some uh, explanation as to uh, what you want to be considering. And again, it's really about applying that perspective on in terms of how you want to organize the different components of organizational change in your setting, what you're planning to do. And, and you also, you'll notice with all these students, they're inviting people in. This is part of their journey, but they're also looking at how is this going to be realized in their learning environment. So there's always that open invitation to bring people in to that uh, process. So uh, hopefully this uh, explanation has helped.